Late last year, ASRock broke the news that they discovered how to overclock any and all Intel Skylake desktop processors using one of their Z170 motherboards. Using the base clock method, it was now possible to push relatively inexpensive processors such as the Core i5-6400 from a standard operating frequency of just 2.7 GHz to well over 4 GHz. This was incredible news for budget builders, though most of us feared and, well, expected Intel to try and block the overclock. Now two months later, Intel has forced board partners such as ASRock to roll out a BIOS update that removes the overclock on non-K processors. So what does this mean for enthusiasts that have either overclocked a non-K processor or a plan to? There's a heap of misinformation out there about how Intel's update is rolled out and how it will impact overclockers. In this short video, I hope to provide some information that will help clear things up. How Intel disables the base clock overclock is through a microcode update and it seems almost everyone realises this but few understand how the microcode is delivered and how it works. Firstly, Intel can't deliver this update via a Microsoft Windows update. This is the theory I hear the most. The CPU microcode is part of the motherboard's BIOS. In other words, it lives within the BIOS code and not the CPU or Windows-based software. So if you're currently rocking a non-K Skylake overclock, the only possible way for you to lose it is by updating your BIOS to a newer version that features Intel's latest microcode. The ASRock Z170 Extreme Plus, for example, supported the non-K overclock using BIOS version 2.16, a version which has now been removed from the ASRock website. The latest version, 2.60, features the updated microcode, referring to 0 times 76 which removes the SkyOC function. So what happens if you buy a new Z170 motherboard which has already been loaded with the updated BIOS and therefore microcode? Assuming you can get your hands on the OC BIOS, it's possible to flash back to the previous version to regain the base clock overclocking ability. Again, the microcode isn't written to the CPU and is kept at the BIOS level, so rolling back isn't a problem. To confirm this, I updated my Z170 Extreme 7 Plus motherboard to version 2.60 and sure enough, the overclock no longer worked. After rolling back to version 2.16, the ability to overclock my non-K processors returned. So the key issue stopping non-K Skylake owners from overclocking is the ability to download a supporting BIOS as manufacturers such as ASRock have been pressured by Intel into removing them from their website. Thankfully, they are available from resources such as overclocking.guide, which I'll link in the description. They've amassed a huge amount of non-K overclocking biases for board makers such as ASUS, ASRock, MSI and Gigabyte. Obviously, this was far more convenient previously when motherboard makers such as ASRock were officially supporting these biases, but at least it can still be done. The non-K Skylake overclocking box has been opened and as much as Intel tries, they won't be able to fully close it. So in short, the microcode can only be delivered by a BIOS update and microcode updates aren't permanent. It is possible to roll back to an earlier version. Going forward, there are a few reasons why you would need to update your BIOS, especially if everything was working as it should with the overclocking BIOS. If you've got any questions at all, then please let me know in the comments or on our forum at hardwareunboxed.com. See you guys next time. Yeah.